What's up everyone, coming at you with six NCAA basketball picks for Tuesday, February 20th. Yesterday's video did absolutely amazing for a Monday. Thanks to everyone who watched and sweated out those super close games with us. We will be posting daily NCAA basketball videos, so hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on our college basketball and NBA videos. These picks are sponsored by StumpTheSpread.com where you can get all of our best picks and predictions on every major sport. Don't forget to comment below with any questions, opinions, or bets on today's college basketball slate. I read and respond to every single comment. Now let's dive into our first game of the day, a big East showdown between Butler and Villanova. Butler comes into this game fresh off a terrible showing at home against Creighton where they got blown out 79 to 57. The Bulldogs have lost two in a row, also falling at home against number four Marquette in a game that was extremely close and competitive. This squad is elite offensively and while they're only seven and eight in Big East play, they have hung tough against some very strong opponents. Pierre Brooks is a monster scoring 15.3 points per game and in a win earlier this season over Villanova, we saw DJ Davis go off for 28 points. Villanova has won two in a row but wins over Seton Hall and Georgetown are not exactly what you need to climb the standings in the Big East. This team doesn't rebound as well as a lot of their opponents in conference play, and while their defense is good, that's not always going to be enough, as we've seen a lot of times already this season. Villanova, they're just not really getting it done. They're only 14-11 overall. They haven't really been competitive with the better teams in the conference. We're going to take Butler and the points on the road in this one, where they've been very solid this season, and going against an opponent they've already beaten straight up this year, I expect them to at least keep things within a possession or two. Butler's only 4-4 four four against the spread on the road, but four and four on the road, not so bad. Next up, we've got Baylor versus BYU. Baylor's on the road in this one. They come into this game fresh off an easy win over West Virginia and are really hitting their stride, winning five of their last six overall. The Bears have been cooking their way through a tough stretch of schedule with their only loss coming by three points playing at number four, Kansas. This team is lighting up the scoreboard with 83 points per game and with great defense and athleticism, they can dominate the boards when they put their minds to it. This team is going to have a shot at the top spot in the Big 12 if they can keep up this current pace. They're looking really 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 good right now after some weird early season issues. BYU is headed in the opposite direction of Baylor right now. They just lost at Oklahoma State their last time out and played a very close game at home Oh, got, getting the win over UCF and outright lost to Oklahoma in a blowout. The Cougars were taking a lot of teams by surprise early in the season, but that has swung completely in the direction right now as everyone seems to be figuring them out, even the worst teams in the conference. We're not going with BYU at home in this one. I know they've been really good at home, but Baylor's 5-1 and one against the spread playing on the road this season. That is extremely good. We're taking Baylor plus three. They're by far the better team. They already beat BYU earlier in the season. You could argue that the Cougars are in a bounce back spot, but they've been consistently struggling over their last four games. So I don't think the bounce back angle really applies in this one. Next up, we've got Pittsburgh headed to Wake Forest. Pittsburgh comes in this game fresh off a fifth straight win, a streak that started with a 77 to 72 win over Wake Forest. Blake Hinson is a monster putting up close to 20 per game, but it was the point guard Carlton Carrington who led the way against Wake with a great shooting night. This squad is elite on the boards, plays solid defense. We know that rebounding defense both generally travel well, so that's a point in the plus column for Pitt in this one. Pittsburgh is a very solid 6-1 against the spread playing on the road this season, and they have the confidence of having already won in this matchup. Wake Forest just dropped a very close game at UVA, but when your opponent doesn't play offense, I guess it's pretty likely the games are going to be close. The Demon Deacons have dropped two in a row, but have to be very excited to be back on their home floor where they've been very good this season. This team relies a lot on its offense and can struggle a bit against better rebounding opponents, which is what they're going to be dealing with going against Pitt. We are going to take the road team again, guys. We're taking Pittsburgh plus six and a half in this one. I expect this to be a very close game that will come down to the final couple possessions. That gives the points a lot of value. Could this be a bounce back spot for Wake Forest after losses to Duke and UVA? I think that could be the case, but man, six and a half is a lot of points. That's too many points for me. We're taking Pittsburgh in this one. Kent State goes on the road to take on Ohio in our next game. This is one of my favorite games on the slate. We see Kent come into this one fresh off a blowout of Northern Illinois, but at six and six in conference play are not going to be finishing things high in the MAC this season. The squad is not good enough defensively or on the boards to compete with better conference opponents, and they lack a go-to score to get the ball to when times get tough late in games. Coming off this blowout win in one of their best offensive games of the season, we find them in a classic letdown spot. Ohio lost to Toledo in a very tough game on Friday night where the Bobcats ended up on the wrong end of an 85 to 83 final score. Losing a road game against one of the toughest teams in the conference shouldn't come as a huge shock, but when they had the lead late in the game, you have to think they saw the upset win right there in front of them. This team is very good offensively, and while their defense isn't great, the last time they faced Kent State, they held them to only 64 points and came away with a 71 to 64 road win. 
We're taking Ohio minus four at home in this one. The Bobcats are very good against the spread at home, the season going seven and four, and with a reasonable win on the road over Kent State already under their belts and being in a classic bounce back spot, I think they take care of business in this one. Moving right along, we're looking at Tennessee headed to Missouri in an SEC showdown. Tennessee comes in this game fresh off blowout wins as they recover from losing at Texas A&M. The Volunteers remain one of the best teams in the nation and have made it to number five thanks in large part to their elite offense and rebounding. Dalton Connect is putting up over 20 points per game and up and down the roster there are guys who are going to score the ball. This team is one game back of the top spot in the SEC and will have a chance to take back that spot here in about a week or so. Missouri is having another season they would love to forget. This program just can't seem to get back on its feet. The Tigers lost a close one at Old Miss, but have been looking pretty awful going winless so far in SEC play. There really isn't much to say about this team except to describe how bad they are on both ends of the court, and their rebounding has kept them from making games very competitive most of the time. This is a no-brainer, guys. We're taking Tennessee to get the blowout win and cover in this one, going against a Missouri squad that is only 2-12 against the spread playing at home this season. Could this be a look ahead spot for Tennessee? I don't see a ton of danger for that. We're taking the volunteers to pile up some numbers and get a big blowout win. In one of the marquee games of this Tuesday slate, we see number one UConn headed to Creighton. UConn is the unanimous number one team in the nation coming off a massive blowout win over Marquette and haven't played a close game since winning by one point at Villanova several weeks ago. This squad is absolutely top of the mountain in offensive production along with being great on the boards while playing shutdown defense. If there is anything this team lacks, it's a standout superstar, but with multiple players averaging more than 15 points per game i think that's actually a positive when it comes to betting on this team because if one guy has a bad night no worries there's plenty of other guys to fill the gap creighton is fresh off a blowout win at butler but now get to take on the best team in the nation the blue jays are a top tier offensive team that can also really crash the boards but they rely heavily on baylor shireman and his nearly 20 points per game to get them to the kinds of numbers you need to win at the top of the Big East. The last time these two teams met, we saw Creighton absolutely fold, with Shireman scoring only 12 points and the Huskies coming away with a 62 to 48 win. Well guys, we're going with the favorite in this one. We're taking UConn to get the win and cover, playing on the road where they're a very solid five and three against the spread this season. Creighton is only five and eight against the spread, playing at home. And the last time these two met, we saw the Huskies dominate the glass and play suffocating defense earning a comfortable win despite the Huskies shooting only 26% from three in that game. I think they'll play much better across the board. They're red hot, nothing to slow them down here. I like UConn in this one. That's all of our games for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment below with any questions or comments about these picks or today's slate and check out stumpthespread.com to see all our top plays. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. We will see you guys tomorrow for some more NCAA basketball action.